praise be to the baby Jesus, we've actually got some sun, which means that I can show you this fella. This is the All Powers S700 battery backup, and it's absolutely excellent. The one that I've shown you previously, the S500, is also excellent, but this one is basically an upgrade on the older model. Allow me to explain. You'll have to forgive me because I'm reading from the plate on the bottom of here because I've got an awful memory and there's no way I'll be able to remember these figures. But both of these have a capacity of 164,000 milliamp hours, which translates into 606 watt hours. And that's based on it being 3.7 volts. To me, that means almost nothing. Basically, the higher the figure, the better these units are and these are both the same but what sets the new version apart is that it'll handle a greater draw from the battery so with the 700 the battery will be able to provide 700 watts of continuous power or 1400 watts of surge power so say you plug something in and it's a little bit too high for this, if it's drawn too much power, it will supply it, but only for a short time, and then it'll shut down. With the previous model, the S500, continuous wattage was 500 watts, and the surged wattage was 1,000 watts. So that's a bit of an improvement, but that's not the only improvement. Also, the Type-C output, which is the little one on the front of here somewhere. Where are we, Type-C? No, it's on the side got your USBs and then you've got your Type C's. That one has also been upgraded for the S700, which means that it can draw 100 watts out as opposed to 60 watts out. And that makes a difference, especially if you've got quite a high wattage laptop or tablet or something like that that runs off the C input. This fella will be way more capable of supplying it with enough power than the previous model. Also the USB outlets have been beefed up in the S700 which means that they now support you know a lot more fast charging sockets. Basically you're going to charge things faster and better with the newer model. And also the DC outlet which is basically your tab lighter. Uh, I have to explain that for you guys in the US which is basically the cigarette lighter or car input or car output socket which is that one in the UK we call it a tab lighter because on old cars you used to have this thing that you press down and it would warm up and you'd use it to light cigarettes with well I wouldn't but I used to always use it for like lighting fires and so on it was very useful uh, that one has been upgraded so instead of it only supplying five amps out which it did with the older model the s500 it now supplies 10 amps out with the newer model so anything you want to run from a 12 volt supply from a tab lighter from a cigarette lighter or a car input a 12 volt input or output you're more capable of doing it with the s700 one thing i forgot to mention there because i never use them is that if you're camping and you want a light a really convenient one just to allow you to plug things in and out of here or see your way around the tent. It's got a couple of lights on there as well. I've actually got it charging from two different panels, which I'll show you in a second. One has an Anderson input. The other one has a standard 18 volt DC input. You could also charge it from your car as well. If you had a, a tab light, it would go in there. You could charge it from three different outlets at the same time. Now the sun's just gone in and it's still feeding in 73 watts of power to charge this up. Strangely, the All Powers panel, which I got with this, no sorry, which I got with the 500, was only rated to be 100 watts. But when I plugged this in earlier in the year, it was actually pumping in 90 watts and that seemed a little bit suspicious to me because if you've ever had a panel especially a folding 100 watt panel you'll know that even in the height of summer it doesn't feed in more than 
I don't know, 65 to 70 watts, even at the height of the sun. However, the All Powers 100 watt, or supposedly 100 watt panel, was consistently feeding in 90 watts of power into either of these, which made me think that perhaps these were having a little bit of a trickery. They might be overestimating the amount of power that comes from the panel, but I connected the All Powers panel to another battery pack I had. I think it might have been the Rock Pals one or possibly the uh, Jackery one. And it was still pumping in 89 to 90 watts. So it makes me think that the 100 watt panel that I got sent out, maybe it wasn't 100, it might have been the one that was rated at 120. I don't know, it can't be that efficient, surely. But it did a hell of a good job. So marrying the All Powers panel to the All Powers battery packs seems to work very very well and these do hold the charge as well I've had both of these stored in the shed for numerous months take them out and they still have plenty of power whenever we get like a grid down situation which we do get quite regularly because yeah I mean we don't live in an extreme environment but we do have trees regularly falling through power lines we have ice bringing them down in the winter these little fellas are worth their weight in gold. They're absolutely excellent. Last time we had a grid down, I think Newcastle were playing... Oh, I can't remember who they were playing, but I know they were playing away and it was on Sky Sports. So we had no other way of watching it other than with the telly, like the TV, and the satellite dish. So I basically took one of these units, plugged everything into it in the house, and we had power to watch the football while the rest of the valley was absolutely pitch black and also in my cabin where I work from I've got a generator input I've basically got like a, a round input into there which leads to an ordinary plug I put the ordinary plug into here and if the electric goes off I can run my laptop lights uh, whatever charges and whatever else I need to use from a simple battery pack and I never miss a beat, I don't miss any orders, I can still answer my emails and everything goes out on time. I'll just quickly show you this panel. There you go. It's just a simple bifold panel. Reasonably compact. And as I say, it has inputted up to 90 watts at a time into one of my battery packs. And as you can see, I've got a few more battery packs lying around here, which I'm going to be filming in a second. <laughs> It's a very consistent panel and it's not very expensive either. And none of the All Power stuff is outrageously expensive. It doesn't really have the name of Bluetti or Jackery, but it does exactly what those sort of products do. And it does it in a small, you know, reasonably light, compact package. With a nice handle which folds away. It has numerous outlets on and yeah, this has never failed me the previous one never failed me the solar panel has been used to charge up numerous other battery packs very quickly and efficiently and I think if you were looking to spend money on something which will see you through a power outage then you could make a lot worse choices than getting one of these fellas this is the S700 interested in this or the panel i will put links to it in the video description thanks for watching and i shall see you next time